Ever wondered why the B-2 stealth bomber, one of the most advanced planes on the planet, only needs two people to fly it? Let's break it down. So, older bombers like the B-52, they needed a small squad just to keep everything running, pilot, co-pilot, navigator, bombardier, and someone for electronic warfare. That's five or even six people in the cockpit, juggling a ton of switches and dials because all those systems were manual. But the B-2 was built with a totally different mindset. It's packed with cutting-edge computers and automation from the late 80s and 90s. So a lot of the work those crew members used to do is now handled by software. Navigation, GPS and inertial systems have it covered. Weapons targeting? There's a computer for that. Defenses? Automated electronic warfare suites? Another secret? The B-2's flying wing design is so unstable you couldn't fly it without computers. It uses fly-by-wire controls, meaning the plane's computer is constantly making tiny adjustments just to keep it in the air, something a human couldn't do alone. No need for a dedicated flight engineer because the computer's got your back. So who's actually in the cockpit? Just two, the pilot who focuses on flying and the mission commander who handles the mission plan, weapons, and communications. That's it. All that automation means two people can handle missions that last for 40 hours or more without anyone else. And there's a bonus with fewer people. You get a smaller cockpit, which means a smaller radar signature. That makes the B-2 even stealthier. Plus, fewer people means less life support and less risk on dangerous missions. In short, the B-2 only needs two crew because it's one of the most automated jets ever built. The pilots supervise, make the big decisions, and let the computers do the heavy lifting. Pretty wild, right?